Hi, it's Catherine from Gerald's House, and uh, today we're just doing a little bit of cook it at home, and um, just so that we can connect with all of you at home who are are not um, attending because of COVID nineteen. So today I'm going to do some meatballs and in tomato sauce. So they're really really easy things that oh, my kids love them, and it's a very nice thing you can actually do with your kids because they're simple. Um, they're also a bit adaptable, so you can add things or take things out depending on what your family like. Okay, so I'm going to start with some mince, and I usually do this in huge batches. I sometimes would make three times the amount because my kids love it, and they're so easy to freeze. And I'll show you how um, I get them ready for freezing later, um, because they're just great in the freezer take them out on on whim and they're done so that's about 900 grams or about two pounds of mince but again you can make less if you just want to if you don't have a big freezer or you can make a lot more okay and then i add to that a bit of mozzarella cheese uh garlic being very uh, stubborn. Remembering to wash your hands really well and also be really careful of surfaces just at the moment. Some onion. Now I have red onion because I have nothing else in the house. It's just one of those days, but you can use any kind of onion. One onion, about four ounces of mozzarella cheese, one clove of garlic, and then pesto. So this is something if you have in the house, you can use, you can stick in some, um, uh, tomato puree if you don't have pesto or leave it out altogether. So that is four teaspoons of pesto. So you mix all of that together and then when you have that mixed you get an egg and add it in. So you mix the mixture and again if your kids aren't crazy on cheese my one of my sons doesn't really like cheese but he he likes this so i'm able to get some cheese into him this way and um, so you mix that all together with a spoon or your hands whatever is more comfortable for you and then you add an egg so one egg And you have quite a gooey consistency. So this is quite wet. So you mix the egg quite well through it. Remember to keep on washing your hands every time you touch the mince and you go to something else. But generally I have everything in here before I touch the mince. Um, I'm going to go wash my hands so I can show it to you then. So your mixture should look like this. Okay, so very simple and I'm having technical problems today. There we are. So very simple and what you do next is you roll the balls into kind of small golf ball sizes. Okay, and I'll do that and get back to you. Okay, so you've come back and I've rolled all the meatballs up. Um, you should get about, I've, I've done half the amount so we can speed this up, but um, you should get about 20, 22 meatballs, depending on how big you want them. So I have them kind of small. Um, so you take each meatball and you roll it in some flour. So just rolling them in flour there. Okay, so I've just lightly rolled each of the meatballs in some flour. So they're not like completely, you know, pasted in them, but they have a light dusting of flour. Now, these need to be browned now, and you can brown them on a frying pan. But I found that when I used to do that, 
I was standing over the frying pan for quite a while. So you can brown them in a couple of batches, maybe two batches on a, on a pan, or I put them into a baking dish and just throw them into a baking dish and I just throw them all into the oven for about 10 minutes. I turn about five minutes after. You're just using it to brown them rather than to uh, cook them. So you don't have to, you know, you don't have to put any oil in because once you, they start to brown, the oil will come out of them. I've used um, kind of low fat, like 5% fat mince, but you can use whatever mince you have in the house or pork or lamb or whatever. And um, if you're using lamb, kind of when you brown them, maybe drain, make sure you drain the, the oil out. And also in this, like take each meatball out and drain the oil. Um, so that just makes a bit of a healthier meal. Okay, I'm just gonna pop these in the oven and we'll come back when they're browned. So, while they're in the oven, just browning, um, I'm gonna make the tomato sauce. So you can make this ahead of time if you like, or while the, the meatballs are browning, or whatever time suits you. So, I have a pot here, and I am going to give it a little oil. I heat the, oil, the pot usually, um, just for a few minutes, and use about a teaspoon of oil. Don't need much. And just let that heat up. And this is, this tomato sauce can be used for anything really. So I throw in my onion, one onion, one clove of garlic. Now you can add more garlic if you like. If you're, you know, you can add two or three cloves of garlic, whatever, whatever works for you. And then, today I'm gonna to use my sata again because I don't have anything else in the house. And I'm gonna use one big, uh, Big thing of passata because we like it really really saucy but again you don't have to have as much sauce so if you don't have passata you can use two tins of tomato and use that so i'm just going to let this uh, the onion and the garlic cook a little bit and we'll give a little stir one moment So just letting that cook off a little bit, mm, and it smells lovely. Keeping an eye on your meatballs, whatever way you do them. So you can, as I said, have it on the, on the pan and do it in batches, or like me, throw them in the oven. Okay, so you cook up your onions and, until they're a little bit soft. And a good way to do that is to add the lid. <laughs> they need a couple of minutes and then you add your tomato pesto and some uh, sorry tomato uh, sauce or cans of tomato and uh, then some uh, tomato puree so it's really 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 simple um, tomato recipe and as I said you can use this for other things like uh, sometimes we make this and throw it on top of chicken and pasta um, or you know, maybe a bit of fish or something like that. It's a really, really versatile tomato sauce. You can check that, it's, the oven is nice and high. Okay, so you can cook those for about five minutes or so. And then we add our tomato. So this is passata. What I always do with passata, I hate waste, is I add a tiny little bit of water into the end of the, the jar, shake it up and that get every last scrap of the tomato. So just a tiny bit, and you don't have to do this at home, this is just because I'm like a, a, a don't waste food kind of fanatic. <laughs> um, so I shake it up and I just add it, and it just gets that last bit of tomato out of the jar and I do it with tins as well if I use this in tins I add a little bit of water at the end of the tin just swirl it around and get everything out of the tin and in a sauce it doesn't really matter so you let that cook up and, and simmer for quite a while Oops. 
and then as it cooks for a little while so about maybe until it comes to boil you 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 get it on a, a little it starts to bubble and then you turn it down to simmer and you add your tomato pesto sorry your tomato puree okay so I'll just let that do and I'm gonna go and check on my meatballs okay so my uh, meatballs are in the oven and almost there um, what you do with the sauce then is you just add as it when it comes to the boil they reduce the heat and then you add just a little tomato puree about a tablespoonful mix that in and then just to allow the sauce to thicken you mix that in really really well and then leave it boil or sorry simmer um, for you know a couple of minutes until it gets thicker with the lid off so that you know as you're putting the sauce together it's kind of getting a little thicker and evaporating a little bit okay and then when that's simmered we are going to when the meatballs are ready we're going to add them to the meatball the meatballs to the sauce and then we're good to go we, we cook it for a further 20, 40 minutes and then we're good to go all right i'm just gonna go check my meatballs again my meatballs are out of the oven and browned, not cooked. So they take less than 10 minutes to just catch them halfway through and turn them so that they brown. You can cook these on a frying pan, but as I said earlier, I just found that it was too messy and I was standing over the oven. So I like to be able to use that time to make the tomato sauce, but you can do it whatever way works for you. So you add the, each of the meatballs into the oven. And you can take the meatballs out with a spoon, maybe even a slotted spoon, so that you're leaving a lot of the oil behind you um, and it just makes it a healthier recipe. You add each of the meatballs into the sauce as we go. And you have a lovely rich sauce now. That sauce you can add herbs to, some basil, um whatever you have in the house put that over here and I'll just show you so oops so we have the meatballs there sitting in the tomato sauce give them a stir and on a low heat like a, a simmer, you put the lid on and cook these for another 40 minutes at a low enough heat, not too much. Do check, um, because they stick to the end of the pan, I've found that sometimes if I've leave, left them too long, they'll stick to the end of the pan. So just check, just stir and like, in, you know, sweep into the bottom of the pan and just check them before you... Uh, you know every so often and then you can serve those with pasta or rice or potatoes or veg or whatever and they're really good in the freezer and um, what I do with the freezer is that I get a tub and then I get a plastic bag and like a freezer bag and I pour the you know put a, like a serving or for us there's four of us I put enough for four people into the bag and put it into a tub like a, a tub or a thing into the freezer Hold on. Say so, something like that. And then I put that into the freezer so it holds the thing. <laughs> it holds the shape and put a, a knot in the bag. And then I take that out um, of the freezer and it's in the bag itself. So I find that if I have lots of Tupperware in the freezer, I don't have any space for anything so that way you can kind of freeze them without it going too sloppy and then um, you know take the the tub or out or just put them in the bag whatever works for you okay so enjoy I hope you enjoy it and uh, let me know how you get on bye